Breaking news. ECOWAS sends strong warning, reviews action it plans to take against the cool plotters. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Authority of Heads of State and the Government of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has issued a seven-day ultimatum to the military in Niger Republic to restore the oust President Mohamed Bazoum to office. The decision of the extraordinary session of the authority, presided over by its chairman, President Bola Tinibu, in Abuja on Sunday, followed its deliberations on development in the country, where President Mohamed Bazoum had been held captive by members of his presidential guards for days. The commander of the country's presidential guards, General Abdulhakman Tashani Friday, had declared himself the head of the transitional government. And at the Sunday's meeting, the authority confirmed its recognition of Bazoum as the legitimate president of the country, as well announced the imposition of land border closures and suspension of all commercial flights between Niger Republic and the ECOWAS member states. The president of the ECOWAS commission, Omar Chari, announced the decision, saying that all chiefs of the defense staff of the member states will proceed for an emergency meeting to strategize on effective ways to implement a possible military operation to restore Bazoum to office. He added that the ECOWAS will take all measures necessary to restore constitutional order in the Republic of uh, Niger. But then, some measures may include the use of force, according to the ECOWAS. To this effect, the chiefs of defense staff of ECOWAS are to meet immediately on the economic sanctions against the Nigerian uh, northern neighbor. And also, the ECOWAS has approved the suspension of all commercial and financial transition, uh, transactions between the ECOWAS member states and Asia freezed all service transactions, including energy transactions, to freeze the access of the Republic of Niger in the Aqua Central Bank, to freeze of all access of the Niger state and the state enterprise, and the parastels in the commercial banks, the suspension of measures from all financial assistance and transactions with all financial institutions, particularly the EBID, among leaders who attended the meetings are President Omaro Mbablo of the Guinea Basu. Also, we have other presidents, including President, uh, the President Nana Kafo of Ghana, the transitional president of Chad, Mohammed, showed up and departed before the opening of the meeting. Also, they were represented by the 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 libya re, were being represented by their foreign affairs minister and the cape Verde. so guys this is coming from the ECOWAS. so these are uh, details that the ECOWAS they have planned to do to those military juntas that plotted a coup d'etat in the j republic so my country people this issue of a coup d'etat in Africa is not a today something is it is no longer new to Africans now Tinibu has said that ECOWAS has warned these Niger Jutas that they would be held responsible for the safety of the oust Niger Republic president Mohammed Bazoum and his family so these people this military had declared holding the president Bazoum hostage and imposed no flight zone on Niger, and even imposed travel bans on military officials involved in the attempted coup in Niger. But then, my country people, the ECOWAS, they have stood their grounds that President Mohamed Bazoum remains the recognized president of the West African country, 
And also, the ECOWAS does not recognize any private military outfits supporting the Niger uh, military junta. So my country people, according to the ECOWAS, Africa has come of age whereby we have to reject coup. We have to reject coup. We have to stick to democracy. But then my country people, according to these military uh, people that plotted the coup in the Niger Republic, they said that the insecurity in the country is getting out of hands. So they decided to take law into their own hands by overthrowing the current president, Mohamed Bazoum. And they took over power in the Niger Republic. And ever since then, there have been no peace in Niger. People have been running helter skelter over this issue. Crisis and tension, chaos here and there. Now, the ECOWAS have said they will fight force with force. Yes, they are going to apply force into this. Since they've said, okay, these military personnel should drop their power and come down and also release Mohammed Bazoum. But they are not yielding to their demands. So they said they were going to fight this one-on-one. -on -one. So the ECOWAS has given a seven-day ultimatum to the military in Niger Republic to restore the President Mohammed Bazoum that is being held in captive. Also his family. They give them seven good days. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? However, Nigerians have reacted. Why is ECOWAS being used to do the bidding of France and USA, threatening sanctions and use of force? This won't work anymore because we clearly understand what coup is all about. Those who said they should come, now you said you are enjoying uh, civilian rule in your country when the people are suffering and the leaders are looting. Now you take a look at Niger Republic citizens and you take that for an example. Okay, guys, this is, these are reactions from Nigerians. I didn't quite catch that comment. But then, hmm, this is a really serious matter, my country people. This is a really serious matter. Now, Tinibu being the chairman of the ECOWAS, <laughs> has decided to involve himself in this issue. He has given his own options, though, that CCCO, they give this military junta seven days ultimatum, seven days stops, to come down from that position and release Mohammed Bazoum. Else, they would see another side of the ECOWAS. So, my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you.